Hey guys, welcome to This is El Paso, uh, presented by Visit El Paso. My name is Lauren, and this week we are with the El Paso Opera. Um, we're talking to Ariane, who's the executive director, and we're really excited to talk about Curbside Opera, which is a new initiative they have um, during these kind of weird times. So uh, we'll, we'll check it out. <laughs> My name is Ariane Marcy. I'm the executive director of El Paso Opera. Curbside Opera is a new initiative that we began. Um, we started the last weekend of May, um, just in response to all of the COVID-19 closures and the shelter in place. And we knew that um, so many people were quarantined in isolation. And our original idea was just to take the opportunity to reach out to people isolating on their own. So we decided we would take a little music and a little opera to their home and, and from the curbside, give them a, a mini concert out of the back of our pickup truck um, just to, again, check on some of our, we call them our extended El Paso Opera family, some of our donors and supporters over the years that we knew were isolating in place, um, but on their own. And we wanted, this is our way to check on them and, and make sure they were okay. The initial response we got from these personal curbside concerts was so fantastic that we decided, okay, well, let's, you know, figure out some public spaces that we can take this to um, that are large enough for um, people to come and listen to us while also still maintaining social distance. And um, by amplifying our singers, we're able to be quite a distance away from people. So we had figured out the safest way possible to, um, to be able to perform. And we thought, okay, well, let's see if the public likes it. And the public has responded so um, tremendously that we have been out three and four times a week um, in, in June and July. We had a lot of people also um, reserving us for personal private celebrations at their house where we would come. And again, from the curbside, we would wish people um, happy birthday or a happy anniversary. So what we do is whenever we're going to be out for the day, we post it on social media, we send out an e-blast so people know this is the park that we're going to be at, come and find us, and um, it's been great. There are people waiting for us. We have um, families with small children. I mean, you don't usually see an audience of five and seven-year-olds at you know an opera performance. We've seen a lot of people in the 20 and 30-year-old range. Um, and then some of our tried and true, some of our older supporters um, who follow us from place to place, who we call our opera groupies. It's been a great way to reach out to neighborhoods and communities who we've never had a connection with before or that we've never reached before. Um, we've gone from the lower valley to Canyon Tio, to the Far East Side, the Far West Side, and, and numerous places in between. And some people say they've never heard of us before and how much they've loved it. Others have said, you know, they, they can't typically afford to attend a performance. And so this has been a, a wonderful opportunity for, for them to see what El Paso Opera is like. So we've had a, a, a great response for people who want us for, for like private celebrations, a way to celebrate a birthday during quarantine or an anniversary um, or celebrating when a family member is, you know, recovering. Um, again, it's always from the curbside in the truck, um, but uh, people are able to arrange this through our office. Um, most times either they'll, they'll message us via Facebook or Instagram, or they can email us at info at at epopera.org. Um, we do request a donation in, you know, for a certain level in response for it, but all we're asking for really is enough to cover the cost of the performers um, and the cost of the crew that goes out there. Um, it's, again, so for $100, we, um, we'll go out, we'll have two singers, we will, um, you know, they'll sing a variety of some opera, some musical theater, but hopefully, you know, it's this unique way Way for a family to celebrate, um, again, trying to make the, the best out of the situation we have.
Thanks again for joining us on This Is El Paso. Um, come back next week to see a whole new episode with a whole new local place. Uh, we're excited to kind of check out the cool things in El Paso happening during this time. Um, thanks to the El Paso Opera. Remember to go check them out. Uh, follow their pages so you can see where curbside opera happens. And remember to shop small, shop local.